Hey, what's going on? I'm Amber Nix from Sweet Tricks and a Mic, and it's time for another local artist spotlight. This week, I am joined with Kevin Cott. Hey! How's it going? Good, how are you? Doing great. Thanks for coming in today. Absolutely. Are you nervous? Mm, not really. I know. Maybe you just up, like a smidge. You get up and perform in front of people, so this is nothing. Yeah, just... there's, it's like, kind of, yeah. I'm a little bit, I don't mind. It's good. It's good to go. Oh, all right. So your music to me is very, like, Americana folk. It's, like, how would you describe yourself and your music? Um, okay, well, I guess the default answer is usually singer-songwriter. Mm -hmm. um, generally, that can encompass kind of a lot of stuff, but um, I usually just tell people um, emphasis on melody, lyrics, those kind of thing. Um, and uh, yeah, but there's a lot of, you know, uh, uh, country, a little bit, Americana yeah, influence. Yeah, a little um, country. It just kind of comes across sometimes a little bit. I wouldn't call myself full-fledged country artist. Yeah, yeah but. I wouldn't either. I like it. Um, and I like to see you on Facebook and you're kind of all over the place. Like I know you play a brewery here and then you play the Vandevort. Like, so you really mm -hmm. cover all your bases. What's your favorite kind of place to perform if you had to pick something? Well, in Springfield and just kind of in the within the 50 mile radius or so, there's a lot of places to get out and play every weekend. Yeah. Um, and a lot of those are kind of, you know, um, a lot of those are kind of just you're part of the environment you're a little bit in the background and that's totally fine it can still be a lot of fun yeah um but every like every so often it's always great to get on stage and in front of a captive audience yeah. um so i guess you know some of my favorite places to play around town are uh Lindbergh's. oh i um, love Lindbergh. yeah it's it's one of my favorite venues in town um pat and Alley's fun too yeah. um but uh, yeah, those kind of places are great. That's really cool. Yeah, yeah. I like those little, uh, like I'm a fan of dive bars. So like yeah. I want to go to a dive bar, I want to hear some live local music and yeah. some beer. And the, <laughs> the thing about Lindbergh's that I like is that it's like, I always say it's like the platonic ideal of what a bar should be. Yes. Because it's got the big, huge bar and the like, and then know, the big all, the stage. Kind of, all the artists on the wall, the old paintings and stuff like that. And that yeah. Which makes you kind of feel like you're in hallowed ground. Mm -hmm. So. That's super cool. It's a lot of fun. Um, so, are you from Springfield, or are you like where are you originally from? I'm from Kansas originally. Oh, okay. Uh, I've lived in Southwest Missouri for about uh, 15 years now. Um, but long story short, I'm I'm, I'm in Springfield now. And yeah. I've been here for about the last 10 years or so. Do you like it? I I do. I like it a lot. It's kind of um, it's kind of got a small town feel. Yeah. Um, you know, even though it's not like a small town per se, mm -hmm. um, I guess it's all relative. But there's a lot of kind of interconnectivity with businesses and artists and just all kinds of stuff. So yeah, we, we really like it here. For sure. Um, so you've been here about 10 years now. What's your favorite thing about Springfield if you had to pick something? Oh gosh. Uh, I guess what I would say my favorite thing has been is um, just the community of artists here. That's what everybody yeah. says. <laughs> and it is good. It's yeah. very cool. I'm Yeah, I'm probably just going to you know echo the refrain but yeah th there's i you know where i grew up um the, the big city that i grew up close to um there was a little bit more of a um it, it, people weren't always as welcoming i mean it, it could be totally different now but like yeah. in, spr in terms of like the artist community there's a lot of competition sometimes there can yeah. be buddy heads and i've heard of that in other in other places and i'm always amazed by not only the legacy of of artists here, musicians, um, you know, that have sort of made ripples way outside of just Greene County or Springfield, mm -hmm. Missouri. And I, I'm always amazed by that and also the ways in which they're so uh, inviting and welcoming to one another and yeah. trying to like give each other gigs and stuff. At least that's been my experience. No, for sure. I would assume it's that way for pretty much everybody but yeah you know, that's been probably far and away my, my favorite thing about I would have about to Springfield. for sure agree with you because I've even seen even when I'm interviewing other artists they're always like so supportive they're like oh my buddy you know yeah Molly Healy or whoever yeah. like they're they're just all so tight-knit and like you said they help each other out they promote each other and that's yeah. awesome I yeah. love that we can do that um, okay so off the subject of music what is one totally random fact about yourself <laughs> this one always gets everybody I'm sorry uh, totally random fact. Could be anything. I've never seen the movie Armageddon. 
I have not either. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Our camera person's like. That was the most random thing I could come up with. Stop. All right. I, for some reason, I always get flack about that. You've never seen Armageddon, like. Yeah. Like, no, everyone yeah. always. Has seen, I've never seen Star Wars. Okay, that's kind of. <laughs> that's. Kind of I'm getting dirty looks. I just yeah. don't get the hype, you know. I'll have to think of something a little bit better, more random. That's probably not the best thing. That just. Came in my head. I work at Ask Another Chocolate during the week. <gasps> you yeah. do? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Your yeah. chocolate is so good. Thank you. It's delicious. So what do you do there? Um, well, I help manage our production and uh -huh. um, I uh, make chocolate. I roast cocoa beans. and uh, makes chocolate? Yeah. <laughs> so I'm basically living the dream. I make for chocolate real? during the week and then pretty much every weekend I'm um, So if people want to reach out to you for bookings or anything, how would they do that? Um, the best way to do that is right now, I take a lot of requests and inquiries by email. Okay. Um, that's Kevin T. Cott at Gmail. Uh, but then also, you know, Facebook and Instagram tends to be, you know, like... Huge. A, yeah, it's kind of crazy how, how everything's kind of gone towards... I mean, I get more inquiries and requests you know, through stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But I'm on Instagram with Kevin Cott and on Facebook, Kevin Cott Music. Um, and that's C-O-T-T, -T, right? Yeah. Cott. Okay, yeah. cool. Awesome. <clears throat> Do you have any uh, big things coming up in the future? December 7th, um, we're getting ready to release some new music. So I'll have some new music coming out here really, really soon. Awesome. We're mixing um, a couple songs that will hopefully be released within the next couple weeks. And then I think we're gonna drop several more up to the holidays, Christmas. So okay. hopefully we'll, we'll have more music out then. And I'll be playing with kind of a new backing band that I've been playing with for a little while now um, that is a slight step away from like the country bluegrass acoustic to more, you know, traditional rock and roll, bass drums, electric guitar, pedal steel. Nice. So there's a little bit of country. Um, <laughs> and that'll be December 7th. Okay. So we'll hopefully have some new music out then to, that, that people can hear before the show and then we'll be, um, ready to unload it all on that day. All right, awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for coming in. And, Absolutely. Uh, excited to hear this new music. Yeah, thank you for having me. Cool. <clears throat> nice.